Welcome to Marshalls High School 2022 graduation. Please welcome our graduates. I promised them a lot of cheering and clapping, just so you know.
All right, well done, Dan. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The Montrose High School NJOTC Color Guard will present the colors. Please welcome senior members of the Montrose High School Choir for our national anthem. Post the colors. Please be seated. How about a round for our choir and our color guard, please? Welcome to the 2022 Montrose High School graduation. My name is Jim Barnhill, and as the principal of Montrose High School, it is my extreme pleasure to preside over this ceremony and to congratulate everyone in attendance today. Let's down on this field. In today's complex environment, it truly takes a village, an entire community of supporters and mentors to guide our young folks 
towards graduation and post secondary opportunities on behalf of the staff of montrose high school and of the montrose county school district i would like to thank the many folks and organizations in our community who have contributed to the success our students enjoy today this community overwhelmingly supports our schools our programs and our activities by volunteering time energy and financial support let me throw a couple of numbers at you this year the class of 2022 was awarded over eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars from local contributions And grand total wise, the class of 2022 was awarded 3.3 million plus some change. <laughs> Parents, we appreciate your partnership and counsel. Teachers, I appreciate your depth of knowledge, your leadership and your compassion. I would also like to acknowledge the incredible effort of the paraprofessionals, secretaries, custodians, cooks, bus drivers, my fellow administrators, and all other professionals throughout the district for their endless hours and energy they have contributed over the years to prepare these students for this day. With your ongoing support, our community will continue to graduate students who are ready to face the challenges that will present themselves in the years to come. Joining us today are others who have participated and provided incredible support behind the scenes. We are honored to have with us today members of our school board, Mrs. Sarah Fishering, Mr. Eric Kelly, Mr. Jacob Supis, Mr. Stephen Bush, Mrs. Alan Mur Alice Murphy, and Mr. Tom West. Thank you folks. And of course, we can't do any of this thing without good leadership at the central office. And I would like to thank our superintendent who's also with us here today, Dr. Carrie Stevenson, for her guidance, support, and her leadership. Thank you. Okay, finally, I would like to introduce the student body president and vice president for the 22-23 school year as they take the reins of student leadership to focus our next year's student body on spirit, inclusion, and participation. They also will be introducing our speakers for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tyson J. Saunders and Ms. Tashi Sherpa. now get the chance to hear from our first senior speaker, Liam Berryhill. I'm gonna make this very short and sweet today because we have three more speakers. Well, my name is Liam Berryhill, and when Barnhill offered me this once in a lifetime opportunity, I was a little hesitant at first, but when you're in his office, it's kind of hard to say no because he's pretty intimidating. <laughs> but I would first like to start off taking a moment to recognize and thank all of our all of our teachers, faculty, and staff here at MHS, as well as all of our families and friends who have supported us along our journey, especially through the hardships of COVID and quarantining. But as a school and a community, we have prevailed and have finally been able to have a normal year. For each of us here today, this is the ending of a chapter 
yet the springboard into the new volume of life. Some of us will work, some of us will go to college, and some will serve our country. I wish each and every person in the graduating class of 2022 here today the absolute best on their journeys and pray for their success and pray that they are successful and fulfilled. Soon the memories of high school will be all that we have left, the good and the bad. Besides the goofy photos that we have on social media, but they come with a filter. So my advice to the class of 2022 is, as we enter the real world, it's not gonna come with a filter. Be yourself, be real, work hard, don't change who you are, set goals for yourself and chase them. Once again, congratulations, class of 2022, the last Indians, I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Liam. We would now like to introduce our next senior speaker, Julia Bashore. of 2022, faculty, staff, families, and friends. I am so excited to have this opportunity to speak on behalf of the graduating class of 2022, and I am so honored to be here for this incredible student body. I want to start by thanking all parents, guardians, and families who are here celebrating with us today. The achievements of the successful athletes, accomplished musicians, talented artists, and most importantly, decorated graduates sitting before you are a direct result of your constant love and encouragement. As supporters of the class of 2022, you have quietly endured many hardships while continuing to motivate and uplift your students. I think that I speak for every one of us when I say this is an accomplishment for which we are grateful and certainly one worthy of recognition. I would also like to take this opportunity to specifically thank my own parents for raising me to act with integrity in times of adversity. I thank them and also all of my siblings for showing me the value of excellent work, work ethic, strong character, and humble leadership. Not all of my siblings could be here today, but fortunately, my five older sisters broke this gown in for me before it was finally my turn to wear it, so I get to carry little essences of all of them with me today. <laughs> To our teachers here at Montes High School, your hard work and seemingly endless patience has provided this class with a strong foundation to share in as we go our separate ways. We are thankful for the time, effort, and hope you invested in us so that we continue to be challenged acad academically while also growing as individuals and strengthening our moral character. You remain steadfast to your commitment to cultivate the next generation of minds and instilled in us a lifelong passion for learning. You are so much more than just educators. You are mentors, role models, and motivators. Each of you has left an indelible impression on us, and without you, we would not be sitting here today. There are no words to adequately express my gratitude, so I will just say thank you for everything. To the class of 2022, our time in high school has been anything but conventional. Each individual sitting here today has faced innumerable challenges. Some of these challenges we shared in together and others we faced on our own. But what set us apart wasn't the adversity we faced. It was our intentional decision to remain focused and immerse ourselves in what life and our time as Montrose Indians offered. Today, I would like to congratulate each and every one of you on your decision to persevere through hardship in order to strive for excellence. In pursuing your individual giftedness and embracing uncertainty with a sedulous zeal, each of you brought an irreplaceable joy and connectedness back to this community that was long missed. I will cherish memories of leading the pep band at home basketball games while my grandma sat very politely across the gym. 
just soaking in all of the energy from excited fans and lively student sections. I will cherish memories of Friday night lights, band concerts, FBLA competitions, and school assemblies. In pursuing your individual talents and passions, each person in this class created an environment that was joyful for our community to partake in. And for this, I thank all of you. As you begin, <laughs> As you begin the next chapter of your life, you will continue to have to make decisions in the face of opposition. I want to challenge everyone here to continue to find what it is that fulfills your soul, to fuel the little sparks in yourself that ignite your passions, to find your calling in life, and to live every second of every day guided by the values and principles that you've developed along with your int intellect during your time at Montrose High School. We did it, we're here, and we're more than ready to take this unconventional world by storm. We're ready to lead from the front. <laughs> to conclude, I would like to share a quote with you that someone shared with me when I most needed to hear it, and that I felt encap encapsulated what I wanted to leave with, you leave with you today. As social reformer Susan B. Anthony once said, forget conventionalism. Forget what the world thinks of you stepping out of your place. Think your best thoughts, speak your best words, Work your best works, looking to your own conscience for approval. Thank you. All right, well done. The Montrose Education Foundation started the Distinguished Alumni Award to honor past Montrose and Al Olathe High School graduates whose deeds and character demonstrate our purpose. We desire all our graduates to lead lives of personal achievement and commitment to their communities. This year, the foundation wishes to recognize Mr. Kirk Hartman. Mr. Hartman was born in Boulder while his father, also a MHS graduate, was attending CU. He was raised in Montrose and graduated from MHS in 1980. Kirk attended CU Boulder and earned a business degree in 1984. He then moved to San Francisco where he resided for six years pursuing business opportunities. Hartman Brothers is a fourth generation family owned business with deep roots in this community. So it was really no surprise that he would be summoned by his father to return to help grow the business. In 1990, Kirk did return to Montrose with his wife Lori and their children, Scotty and Jessica, both who graduated from Montrose High School. The Hartman businesses have always supported the communities in which they serve, and as Kirk and his partners have grown the businesses over the last 28 years, they have made it a point to continue their support for the students at Montrose High School through athletic programs, the MHS band, and scholarship funds. Kirk also had the honor to serve as president on the MHS band booster club for three years. The business successes has helped to expand their support for many worldwide organizations to include Hospice, CASA, and the San Juan Foundation. Kirk enjoys serving his community and he has been an integral part of many board positions and memberships including the Montrose Chamber of Commerce, the historic Montrose Downtown Committee, and the Montrose Rotary Club. He has also served on the board for the Welcome Home Montrose Warrior Rescue Resource Center and the Montrose Downtown Development Authority. Mr. Hartman cannot be with us today, but is honored to receive this award and pledges his continued support of Montrose High in our community. He wishes a hearty congratulations to the class of 22, and I'd like to send him a little love with some applause. Thank you.
Despite their relation to you, I want you to think of a moment in which you vividly remember one instance where one of those people made your day better. Um, off the top of my head, I can think of a few significant instances. Bodie Greiner, wherever you are in this mass of chairs, I remember some day where you said, Kate, I'm so glad you came to class. That made my day, which unbeknownst to you was going terribly. <laughs> Mrs. Scrippany and Mr. Lexi, your knowing smile and small conversations after class gave me the gentle encouragement I needed because you believed in me even when I didn't. Aaron Simpson, I know you're at a tournament right now, but every hi Kate with an over-enthusiastic smile and wave told me that I deserve to be around. Kenzie Howell, your beautiful smile and each parting I love you made me feel like I was gonna be okay. Mr. Scrippany, your patience, kindness, and understanding has not gone unnoticed this year. Thank you for allowing me to pull the pieces of myself together before mentally and physically being in class. Charlie Andrade signs, every concern, you good, was able to get me through the rest of my day without tears. See, the truth is, my mental state has declined severely this year. I've never felt more vulnerable and alone, and I know that many others can say the same. It has been painstakingly difficult to face life every morning and let alone come to school. Had it not been for these people and a handful of others, I would not be standing here today. Just me, sorry. Um, if there's anything I've learned about these last four years, both inside and out of high school, it's about being there for one another. To not just the class of 2022, but every previous and subsequent class. And to not just the people in the stands, but to those beyond, check up on your people whether they are your family members, your significant other, your friends, mere acquaintances, or maybe even complete strangers. Everyone is dealing with some sort of internal struggle and it doesn't matter the severity. So this is a message from those who find it difficult to ask for help and support when they really need it. These past few years have been crappy. There's no other way to describe it. With quarantine, isolation, and the lockdown a few months back, it's been incredibly stressful. Each of these events affects everyone differently, and that's okay. But what matters the most is that we're there for each other to pull through these difficult times, whether they're shared or just personal. Please remember that one small action just might save somebody's life. So with that, give a hug or a high five to the person next to you, or maybe even behind you, because they might need it. Thank you. Great job, Kate. We will now hear from our final senior speaker, Gabe Miller. Wow. This is intimidating. kicked off. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, I'm Gabe Miller, and I'm part of the undisputably best class to ever come through Macho's High. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to start this off by giving a huge congratulations to the amazing class of 2022. I am so truly honored that I was chosen by my peers to deliver this graduation speech to you today. Before I get too far into this, I'd like to make a few things clear. I'm not here to inspire any of you. <laughs> um, sorry. I'm not here to, be, to tell you how to, how to be successful. I would need a lot more than a short, silly speech to do that. All I want to get across to all of you is I'm the one giving this speech at the Macho's High graduation. Not you. Like, it's me. It could have been you, but it's not. It's me. So, yeah. <laughs> no, but in all reality, it wasn't an easy road for me to get here in front of you guys today. Um, I would like to give some big thank yous to all the people who helped me uh, along this crazy road of life, I guess. <laughs> 
Um, I'd like to thank all of the amazing teachers at Rogers High School who had the privilege and honor of teaching me. Thank you to all the coaches who, um, I guess, put me in my place when I started getting a big head. <laughs> um, and of course, I'd like to thank all of the amazing students who, who sent me their homework so that I could check my work. <laughs> but most of all, I'd like to thank my amazingly supportive family for always sticking by my side when I made all my questionable life decisions. Thank you to all of the amazing people who made these last four years unforgettable. As all of you know, this class of 2022 stands apart from any other class in history. First of all, half of our class was the last to go through the old Columbine Middle School. Shout out Rams. <laughs> For those of you who didn't see the old building and its last few years of glory, there's a few things that made that school pretty distinct. Um, there was always a constant fear in everyone uh, entering that school that any moment the roof might cave in and our days would end. <laughs> there were weeds growing through every cracks all throughout the school. And if you were one of the folks who went to Centennial, you had it pretty rough too, because I mean, you went to Centennial, so. <laughs> we are also the first class to have a normal graduation after the COVID years. We survived quarantines, mass mandates, and countless Zoom calls. I don't know about the other seniors, but for me, at some point during every Zoom class, I would get a little too comfy in my bed, and I would end up falling asleep and missing the entire lecture. Don't tell Dom, bro. But one thing that makes our class unforgettable is we are the last ever Monchos Indian. Yeah! For me, these past four years have been a blur. But through high school, I've changed and matured in more ways than one. In the words of my beautiful mother, I was somewhat of a hoodlum my freshman year. And although I might not fully grasp... Uh -oh. Memes? Oh, we're back, we're back. <laughs> and although I might not fully grasp what that means, it can't be a good thing. Somewhere along the way, through all of the mistakes I made and all the trouble I got into, I became a quote-unquote pretty decent kid. As I move on to this next chapter of my life, I plan to hold on to all of my mistakes. All my slip-ups have forced me to grow and mature into the man standing here in front of you today. I encourage all of you amazing seniors to never forget your roots. No matter where life takes you, at heart, we will always be Macho's Indians. I hope you all take your small town roots with you in all aspects of your life. Never forget who you are and where you came from. All our hardships through high school have prepared us for anything this crazy world's going to throw our way. So bring on the next pandemic. Wait. Congratulations to the amazing class of 2022. Good luck on this next chapter of your life. I'll catch you guys at the reunion. All right. There's only one way to top that. And that's to hand out diplomas. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, our school, mem our school board members are up here today. We'll hand out diplomas as the kids' names are read. I would like to introduce Miss Wendy Maley. She's a current French teacher at MHS, and she's going to read the names for us. 
As principal of the Montrose High School, it is my extreme pleasure to certify that the students before us today have met the grad requirements set forth by the Montrose County School Board. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2022. Salva Almansar attending the workforce. Lisbeth Alvarado attending Colorado Mesa University majoring in psychology. Adrian Abel Alvarez attending Technical College of the Rockies. Xavier Antonio Amaro, attending Colorado Mesa University, undeclared major. Grace Renee Ansel, attending Intellitech College, Massage Therapy. Charlie Edward Andrade Sáenz attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in kinesiology. Carly Marie Anderson, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in psychology. Kendall Nicole at Feltaller Knowles, <laughs> attending dental hygiene school. Nathia Naomi Arnett, attending Red Rocks Community College, majoring in sonography. Tony Nicole Augustuson, taking an online program for animation and graphic design. Eliana Lynn Ayers, attending Intellitech College, for attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in criminal justice and law. <laughs> Tessa Elizabeth Bailey, attending the University of Wisconsin, Stout, major mechanical engineering and playing lacrosse. <laughs> Floor Daisy Valderrama, attending Technical College of the Rockies. Lennis Rose Barajas, attending Fort Lewis College, majoring in psychology. Kate Elizabeth Barnett, attending Gonzalo, 
I'm going to Saga University, majoring in human physiology. Luke David Barney, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in business and management information systems. Adam Jason Barrett, attending Colorado Mesa University, certification in machine technology. Chad Allen Beaver, attending Western Colorado Community College, lineman program. Malaya LeMay Vicente, attending Metropolitan State University, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Liam Michael Berryhill, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in biology. <laughs> Julia Catherine Bashore, attending University of Dallas, undeclared major. Ethan Lawrence Bertram, attending college as an in the Ironman program. Brooks Douglas Blackford, taking a gap year before attending Benedictine College, majoring in mechanical engineering. Ronan James Glennis, joining U.S. Marine Corps. Tristan Rayleigh Blundell, attending Colorado State University, majoring in biomedical science. Jeremy Ryan Bohard, working on RVs and motorhomes. Wesley Henry Brewer, University of Utah. Tanea Camille Booth, attending Technical College of the Rockies, majoring in cosmetology. Brianne L. Brazier, entering the workforce. Chloe Grace Brokering, attending University of Colorado Springs, Colorado, majoring in music performance. Ashley Jackson Brown will be on a two-year mission for the LDS Church returning to attend Brigham Young University. Danielle Ann Brueggemann attending Weber State University majoring in elementary education. Leo David Burton attending Utah State University Eastern, majoring in welding technology. <laughs> Elena Brooke Bustin, taking a gap year before attending Grand Canyon University, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Duncan Nicholas Canfield, attending the University of Northern Colorado, majoring in mechanical engineering. Mallory Grace Carbett, taking a gap year before attending Grand Canyon University, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Shayla Carrion, attending Metropolitan State University of Denver. <laughs> Jesus Eduardo Castañeda Aguayo will be in North Dakota working on construction. Xander Hanicum Cervantes will be attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in kinesiology. <laughs> Pragati Chaudhry is attending the University of Utah, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Amelie Chavarria. Caraballo is attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Alexia Hanai Chavez, 
attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in accounting. James Fletcher Cheesum, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in biology. Paige Marilyn Coddington, entering into the workforce. Kyle Lynn Kohick, Nebraska College of Technical Agriculture, Animal Science. Shelby Rose Coldiron will be attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in graphic design. Yoslin Coronado is entering into the workforce. Josephine Louise Coulter, attending Fort Lewis College, majoring in biology and biochemistry. Caitlin Marie Cohen, entering into the workforce. Carolee Marie Cox, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in early childhood. Niobe Eden Kramer, attending Colorado Mountain College, majoring in nursing. Grace Elena Cross, attending University of Colorado in Boulder. Paul Jeffrey Curtis, entering into the workforce. Bailey Ann Davis, attending Utah State University, majoring in business. Evan Lee Davis, joining the United States Army. Parker Stone Davis, attending college. Dexter King Day, attending Colorado Mesa University, entering the lineman program. Erica Anahi Diaz, attending ASU, majoring in business. Titus Diaz Ruiz, attending Universal Technical Institute in Houston, Texas. Woo! Kayla Lorraine Dublock, attending Penn Foster Technical School as a vet tech. Kevin Hunter Duke, attending either welding or construction program. Gus James Dwyer, attending the University of Colorado Boulder, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Laura Dior Edeker, attending Menlo College, majoring in entrepreneurship, international business, and playing softball. <laughs> Alec Lighton Edwards, entering into the workforce. Madison McCall Embry, attending the University of Denver, majoring in International Studies. <laughs> Adriel Dominique Encarnacion, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in Sports Management. Annabelle Claire Ensor, attending South Dakota School of Mines and Technology, majoring in Biomedical Engineering. <laughs> Taylor Ray Epperson, entering into the workforce. <laughs> Ashley K. Erdmeyer, attending Ashworth College, majoring in Animal Behavior. <laughs> Javier Joseph Esparza, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in sports management. Jose Emanuel Espanosa, 
attending college majoring in business. Kevin Estrada, attending Western Welding Academy in Wyoming. Destiny Soraya Marie Evans, attending Technical College of the Rockies. Ayanna Elizabeth Fabian, attending the University of Northern Colorado, majoring in psychology, minoring in art. Holly Fenton, Aveda Institute, majoring in cosmetology. Luca Byron Field Licona, attending the University of Colorado Boulder, majoring in entrepreneurship and international business. Michael Joseph Flynn, joining the United States Army. Taylor Justine Foster, attending the, United, the University of Arizona, excuse me, major in nursing. Josue Reyes Fuentes, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in music ed and performance. Mason Daniel Galvin, attending University of Colorado Springs, Colorado, majoring in film. Yarele Noemi Garcia, entering into the workforce. Jada K. Garrett, attending Colorado Mesa University. Grace Leanne Gibson, attending St. Francis University, majoring in zoo and aquarium science. Riley K. Lynn Goff, entering the workforce as a dental assistant. Delilah Crystal Gomez, attending Technical College of the Rockies, majoring in medical assistant. Daniela Gonzalez, entering into the workforce. Fernando Vidal Gonzalez Nunez, attending Technical College of the Rockies. Bodie William Greiner, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in business and playing football. William Austin Griffin, attending Northwest Line College, majoring in electrical transmission. Harrison Garner Hall, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in criminal justice. Lillian Margaret Hamilton, attending Colorado State University, majoring in music. Jacob David Hansen, working at Adrenaline Vans. Aiden Michael Harrell, attending Yavapai College, majoring in computer science and playing soccer. Isaac Lloyd Harshman Lovato, attending Technical College of the Rockies to be an electrician. Sarah Catherine Hartman, attending Benedictine College, majoring in nursing. Abby Joy Hotman, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring business administration. Joanne Esteban Heredia, joining the United States Marine Corps. Michaela Grace Hernandez, 
taking a gap year before entering college. Priscilla Angelique Hernandez, attending Technical College of the Rockies, majoring in cosmetology. Ileana Anahi Hernandez, attending Technical College of the Rockies, or maybe Pueblo Community College. Diego Morreal Herrera, entering into the workforce. Tania Patricia Herrera, attending Colorado Mesa University. Brielle Mackenzie Hickert, joining the United States Marine Corps. Blake Kenneth Highland, attending the University of Northern Colorado, majoring in nursing. Karen Scott Hill, taking a gap year before attending Northwest College. <laughs> Noelle Elizabeth Hutchell Solander, attending Eckerd College in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> Colin Zachary Huffer, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in business finance. Adriel Alexis Luisar Martinez, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in accounting. Quinn Elizabeth Rochelle Huntley Gross, attending Technical College of the Rockies, majoring in cosmetology. Aiden Kent Hutto, attending Technical College of the Rockies, majoring in computer drafting. Luke Tyler Hutto, attending Fort Lewis College, majoring in engineering and playing basketball. Jose Manuel Ibarra Sanchez, attending Colorado Mesa University. Mariah Lois Lynn Iniquis, attending Colorado State University. Morgan Marie Johnson, attending Colorado Mesa University, Tyler David Josephson, attending Technical College of the Rockies, majoring in Emergency Medical Technician. <laughs> Cynthia Juarez, attending Technical College of the Rockies, majoring in Cosmetology. <laughs> Joseph Christopher Curson, attending the University of Colorado in Boulder. Jacob Cole Cattell, <laughs> attending Montana State University, majoring in English. Jaden Rayam Key, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in Education for English. Tristan Seth King, planning to enter a career in Computer Science. Bridger Frederick Kurtz, attending Colorado Mesa University. Sean Josiah Labar, attending Colorado Mesa University. 
Lowell Malachi Lake entering into the workforce. Hayden James Langford attending Colorado Mesa University majoring in civil engineering. Dakota Lee Levy entering into the workforce. Bradley Thomas Levins, also entering into the workforce. Kyle Beldasola Littlefield, entering the workforce. Colby Malcolm Lopez, undecided. Melanie Jasmine Lopez entering the workforce. <laughs> Maria Jose Lopez Fuentes entering the workforce. Wesley Oscar Lucero Escalante attending Colorado Mesa University. Stephania Walisa Lou Chavez attending Colorado Mesa University majoring in accounting. <laughs> Julian Kincaid McFarlane already working as an electrician. <laughs> Rachel Leanne Maddox attending West Texas and A&M University. Israel Marquez, attending a full sale university majoring in film. Gael Marroquin Jaime, entering into the work phase, course. Abigail Aaron Martin, attending the University of Colorado in Boulder, majoring in anthropology. <laughs> Brianna Ashley Martinez, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in business. <laughs> Mia Sofia Martinez, attending Colorado Christian University, majoring in psychology. Savannah Rose Martinez, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in radiology. Cullen Andy Masterson will be on a two-year mission for the LDS Church. Madison Lynn Matouche, attending Criminal Western Colorado University, majoring in criminal justice. Gavin Michael Maupin, joining the United States Army. <laughs> Dane Michael McCoy, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in biology. Amy Tyree McCracken, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in business. Joanny Janaira Mendez Nunez, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in early childhood. Valerie Jane Merritt, attending Western Colorado University, majoring in history. Lucas Gabriel Myers, real estate associate for Coldwell Bankers. Sierra Sky Mahavitz, Mahavitz, sorry, attending Colorado State University, majoring in business administration and marketing. Gabriel James Miller, attending Grand Canyon University, majoring in psychology with an emphasis in special ed. Olivia Madeline Miller, attending Technical College of the Rockies, majoring as an esthetician. Yareli Angelica Miranda Acosta, 
attending the cosmetology school. Giovanna Margarita Montoya Briseño entering the workforce as a nail tech. Madeline Leticia Marin attending Technical College of the Rockies majoring in cosmetology. Nathaniel Taylor Murphy attending Colorado Mesa University major in music education. Ezra Michael Nash taking a gap year. Megan Lee Newbaum attending the Colorado State University majoring in biomedical science. Josiah Brian Nichols attending Grand Canyon University majoring in business entrepreneurship. Kale Jason Nichols, joining the United States Army as a medic. Aliana Jade Nickerson, taking a gap year. Abigail Nieto, attending the Technical College of the Rockies. Rogelio Daniel Nieto, attending the Technical College of the Rockies. Tadeo Nieto Jimenez, attending the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs. Michael Andre Nikolaev, joining the United States Army as a medic. Ashley Marie Ortega, attending Montana State University, majoring in business. Sarah Faith Packard, attending Fort Lewis College, majoring in biology. Michelle Badilla, attending Metropolitan State University, majoring in nursing. Grace Marie Badisol, attending Colorado Mason University, majoring in kinesiology. Kimberly Partida Meraz, entering into the workforce. Dantea Frost Pierce, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in nursing. Morgan Brooke Pelham, entering into the workforce. Byron Obed Perez Ola, sorry, entering the workforce. Benjamin George Perforce, attending Colorado State University, majoring in mechanical engineering. Jake Ryan Peterson, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in computer science. Samantha Megan Phillips, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in business. Savannah Lene Piquette, attending Colorado State University, majoring in anthropology and archeology. span Jose Luis Pizarro Ortega, entering into the workforce. Victor Manuel Portillo, attending a technical college of the Rockies, measuring in auto mechanics. Melissa Natalie Portillo Hernandez, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in nursing. Samuel Wyatt Preston, attending the University of Texas in Dallas, majoring in software engineering. Cody Paul Proctor, attending the Colorado Mesa University, majoring in sports management. <laughs> Carlos Isaia Quesada, attending Lyman College. <laughs> Kiera Elizabeth Quesada, attending the Guadalupe King 
Monteros Espinosa, attending Technical College of the Rockies, majoring in cosmetology. Luis Armando Quintero Santu, entering the workforce as a framer. Julian Mario Ramos Castillo, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in business. William Archibald Ramsey, attending Step Up to Life program. Alexis Marie Ray, entering the workforce. Jada Ray, entering the workforce to become the medical assistant. Entering the workforce. Kelsey Janae Rocco, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in nursing. <laughs> Nevea Angelita Rodriguez, attending Fort Collins, Fort Lewis College, excuse me, majoring in psychology. Maria Antonia Rosa Aguilar, Entering the workforce. Fabiola Cristal Rosas Gonzalez. Entering the workforce as well. Lucas Andrew Rose. Entering the workforce. Kyle Walker Rothy. Entering the workforce as an electrician. Jose Manuel Rubalcaba attending Colorado Mesa University. Cameron Raquel Brysinga taking a gap year. <laughs> Ivy Faye Sabini Kazuski entering the workforce. Dennis Sicey attending alignment program. <laughs> Saya Raul Salunki attending Colorado Mesa University majoring in biology. <laughs> Daniel Christian Sandoval entering the workforce. Sandy Anahi Sandoval pursuing a real estate license. Dory Mae Schmidt attending Colorado State University majoring in biology. Isabella Serrano attending Colorado Mesa University majoring in business. Liam Colby Sharp attending college. Ryan Lee Shipley entering the workforce. <laughs> Michaela Dawn Shreves entering the workforce. <laughs> JD Michael Skies attending Hastings College, majoring in business and accounting. <laughs> Madison Grace. Smith, attending Colorado Mesa University. Yeah. 
Lluvia Solis entering the workforce. Angel Javier Soto entering the workforce. Matthew Alexander Sparks attending Colorado Mesa University. Zeke Terry Steenbergen attending the University of Arizona, majoring in business. Luke Tyler Stone joining the United States Army. Tyra Nicole Stuckman attending the Step Up to Life program. Mario Suarez entering the workforce. Elijah Thomas Tafoya attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in English and theater. Caden James Thomas Tafoya entering the workforce. Shannon Ray Taft entering the workforce. Maple Bowen Taylor attending Western Welding Academy in Wyoming. Jacob Evan Thompson attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in computer science and engineering. Maya Deanne Thompson, attending an online college. Cameron Sunshine Trujillo Johnston, attending Technical College of the Rockies, majoring in cosmetology. Johnny Rose Trujillo Johnston, attending Fort Lewis College, majoring in environmental conversation management. Brendan Jason Ullman, attending Colorado State University, majoring in civil engineering. Justine Rene Valdez, future goal to become an art therapist. Jaime Alonso Vashik Van Shike Van Shike attending the University of Colorado Boulder majoring in media production. Eduardo Vasquez Suarez pursuing real estate license. Carissa Don Walker attending Technical College of the Rockies, majoring in auto mechanics. Cameron Alicia Weber attending Colorado Mason University, majoring in nursing. Kyle J. Westbrook entering the workforce. Hank Richard White entering the workforce as a welder. Corbin Achilles Whittington, attending Boston University, majoring in mathematics and physics. Brenton Julius Widener, entering the workforce. Eric Sherman Michael Williams, attending Colorado Mesa University, majoring in criminal justice. Bridger Lee Wilson entering the workforce to become a cowboy. <laughs> Mari Reese Wilson attending Fort Lewis College, majoring in environmental con conservation management. And Taylor Renee Yanoski attending Colorado Mountain College, majoring in nursing. Those are our graduates.
All right. One last announcement, seniors. When we handed you your diploma, we didn't really hand you a diploma. We gave you an empty thing. So you have to go pick up your diploma over in the front of the gym before you leave today, okay? Please rise. Take your tassel from left to right. You are now graduates of Montrose High School. And you're dismissed.